So in the previous video, I just wrote the peripheral structure for GPIO peripheral and then we alter the LED blink program as per the peripheral structure declared and defined. So I just requested you to write down your own peripheral structure for RCC. I hope you did that. So for your reference, I am just providing this for you. You can see this is the peripheral structure declaration that I have done as per the user manual of the microcontroller. So you can clearly see this is the reserved space between HP3 RSTR and APB1 RSTR. And here I have provided two reserved space as buffer of length 2 since I am having 8 bytes as a reserved space between these two registers. So in this manner you just want to provide reserved space between registers if you are having gap in the user manual like this. You can see if you are having a gap like this reserved then you in that place you just want to provide the space in the register. So here you can see we are having two different gaps. So I have provided buffer of length 2 right over here. So regarding the name you can provide whatever name you want right over here. So now I am just going to alter this. Uh, let me just declare structure or sorry pointer for base address of RCC peripheral. So base address of RCC peripheral is uh, let me just this one. So now I can alter like I just want to set the bit number 0 in this line. So RCC pointing to CR register. RCC pointing to CR register R of 1 left shifted by 0. RCC pointing to HP1 ENR is equal to RCC pointing to SP1 ENR R of I am setting bit number 0 for GPIOEA clock enable. That's it. I don't need these two, I am just commenting out these two or I don't need anything of this I'm just going to delete all these things sorry I'm just compiling this program and when I dump this program to my nuclear development board and when I click on reset button in the nuclear development board you can see the LED blinking process is happening in my nuclear development board without any struggle so our program is working fine. So the one more best practice that you can do is instead of keeping all these structures and pointer definitions in the single main.c source file, you can create your own user defined .h files for each of the peripherals and you can maintain them. So just right click on this source group and click on add new item and I want the header file to be created. So let me just create like stm32 f4 46 446 re re gpio and one more header file that i'm going to create is stm32 f446 re clock So I'm just going to take all these things and I'm going to add it inside gpio.h.
and inside the so as i mentioned before earlier whenever you create a header file you just want to provide the header guard for the respective source files respective header files So in this manner, provide the header guard for clock also. So I have added the structure of the RCC register and pointer for the RCC register in the STM32EF446RE clock.h and GPIO register structure and the pointers for GPIO register structure in stm 32 f 446 re so here in my main i just want to add these two header files so if you are including a user defined header file you just want to use this double quotes like this but if you are using a library file or if you are including a library header file you just want to use this greater than less than symbol like this so this is the difference for including two different header files dot h that's it now when i compile this you can see the compilation is successful so in this manner you can maintain as much as files as per the peripheral structure of the microcontroller for storing the register structure of each of the peripheral inside your program so this is the universal standard followed by many of the application users so in future video we will discuss about the cmss files provided by the silicon vendor or the microcontroller manufacturer in detail so i hope you learned how to write your own register structure for the microcontroller for any of the peripherals of the microcontroller stm32 f246re so at this point i hope you are able to write down your own peripheral structure for the microcontroller stm32 f 46 re you must be capable of doing that i hope you are doing that see you in the next video thanks for watching